This is a short video on elaborating on the whole theme of meditation as a working ground. And the main approach that I'm going to take with this short video is that of projects. So let's say, for example, you notice that you have certain tendencies which are helpful and unhelpful in your meditation. And you decide that you're going to take them on. You're going to develop and uh, endorse and encourage the qualities which are helpful in your meditation and you're going to challenge and work with, work against even you could say, the, the tendencies which are unhelpful in your meditation. So over a period of time in meditation it's very useful to see that you're getting to know yourself in this way. You're getting to know your strengths and your weaknesses, to put it that way. And you, you actually take on, over a period of time, all those things. So in that way, you don't have any blind spots that you never pay attention to. Or you don't just have strengths that you're always working to but you're actually mixing them up a bit, mixing them from the point of view of you're paying attention to everything. Now over time it's quite useful to have a meditation journal and in that meditation journal to elucidate clearly what helps and what doesn't help. The main reason for this is it helps you become objective about what you're actually dealing with in the meditation and become clearer because of that about what you need to do and how you need to work with those tendencies. So let's say for example, let's take something which uh, is, is double-edged. I quite like things looking at things like this because we can have tendencies that are both positive and unhelpful. So let's say, for example, uh, perseverance. You can have a sense that you are going to persevere. You're going to be persistent. You're going to keep on going. And that can be very positive. It can have a very positive quality to it, uh, very wholehearted, uh, a sense of vision, actually, that this is really important and you will keep going. But it also can have a downside where it's sort of blind, willful stubbornness <laughs> that you just push and push against something uh, without actually really being open to what is happening and what helps. So this sort of blind, willful stubbornness means that you, you decide what you're going to do and you just keep doing it regardless of whether it's actually helping or not. So this sort of stubbornness becomes rigidity and that rigidity works against the whole uh, well, principle and spirit of meditation. I mean a lot of uh, the essential spirit of meditation is to be adaptable and pliant while persistent. So you have these qualities of you, you're moving forward, but you're not doing it in a rigid, fixed, hard, deterministic, willful way. You're doing it with a gentle persistence and adapting with patience. So I think that this is just an example of what you can take on. And Part of the process is actually making this your own. What qualities in myself uh, do I need to look at and work at over time? And how can I do that? So in this way, you can say that at any given time, you have a working ground. You know that at this moment, you're doing the general area you're working with is such and such. I'll give you another example. Some people, when they, they meditate, they start to notice that they're really hard on themselves. Well, that becomes something that you, you clearly work against. 
that becomes your working ground. You find ways of softening that, undermining it, dissolving it, and it becomes a project, probably quite long term. But it's your working ground. You take that on. You take yourself on. And this is something so brilliant about meditation, is that there's no distraction. You can actually see these qualities very directly in your own mind because there's nothing else. You, you can feel them. You can feel the quality of the harshness or the pushing or the willfulness, for example. And you know what it feels like when you're much kinder but persistent. So in this uh, process of taking on yourself and having projects over time where you work but with particular qualities that are helpful and unhelpful, you actually start to become a much more whole and complete person. And your meditation goes much deeper because of that.